trots into the left circle of the offensive zone. Behind the net, Josh Lidke intervenes up the wall, intercepted at the point by Mitchell Miller. He'll look to shoot, blocked in front, rebound, chance, and Cameron Rowe with a gorgeous early save to keep this a scoreless hockey game. Pre-game show interview we had as we went inside the captain's quarters, but if there's one, that might be it. It's the fact that he does pass up some great shooting opportunities to make that beautiful pass, and it would have been a great connection to Pap, but Pap wasn't even ready for it. And Nevers had a great look to shoot. And speaking of great looks, a chance for the Storm. They score. It's Marcus Stappa after a turnover behind the Buccaneer net, and it's 1-0. Carter Mazur fed the Stappa on that left post after the Buccaneers had a malfunction behind the net. Pucks worked over to the left-hand wall. Mazur there as well as Michael Mancinelli. Mitchell up the left-hand wall. Time for Logan Anderson. He finds Mancinelli who turns it over. Here's Ambrosio into his forehand row with a gorgeous save again. Shots four to shots against right now. And they'll try to get one on the board, but they got to get out of their own zone as now it's Ambrosio at the left circle and Cameron Rowe looks like he's brought his A game tonight. Another big save. Getting it back is Ambrosio, right circle in front, they score! It's Nick Ports, 2-0 Tri-City. And so, same story, different night. Another rocky first period as Des Moines has dug themselves a two-goal hole here with 12.05 to go in the first. It's swerved ahead by Calvin Dibas. Right wing wall, it's Kristoff Papp. Two goals against Sioux Falls. Ellis on the left wing wall in for Estrada, left circle, quick shot save, rebound in front, and Allen makes a great save on Ellis. The Ferrier with it, behind the net for Nevers. Nevers to the left hand wall, Albert. Across for the Ferrier, right circle. Good puck movement here, another one for Albert, left circle in front, tipped by Nevers, and a great save, Allen, and he freezes up. Looking forward to getting his first. Opportunity on the Buccaneer Broadcast Network airwaves here tonight. In front of the net, though, goes Nyes. Leaves it off. Ambrosio right circle. Rings the mask over. Oh, rebound. They score. It's Matthew Nyes, and it is 3-0 Storm. And Cameron Rowe just shattered his stick over the crossbar. And understandably so, Rowe was left completely hung out to dry there, and Driscoll on the ring around. It's coming from one of the bottom listed lines on the line chart, so perhaps this line might see some more minutes because the other lines have not been getting it done tonight. Here's Harry Roy, right circle time. He fires and a great shoulder save by Allen. Now Laferriere, right wall of the O-zone, loses it. Alberg as well as Laferriere are caught deep, but the Storm managed to navigate through now with Ambrosio for the right circle, snatched out of the air by Rowe. Up ahead goes Dibas. It bounces on Rowe behind the net. Rowe's got to be careful. There's Storm all over him. Great puck protection by Rowe. And he clears it back to the point where Harry Roy gallops after it. For neutral goes Anderson. Back to Roy to the high slot. He shoots off the post! And I don't think that one went in. The Bucks are going to celebrate. The call on the ice I don't think was a goal. I had a pretty good look at it. That came off the post. I don't think that one's going to count, but... The goal light went on, and Harry Roy is celebrating like it's a Geno, and why wouldn't you? Just in case, might as well sell it. And it doesn't look like anybody thinks this is going to wind up as a goal, as the Storm are already down at the defensive zone faceoff. Roy had the shot get deflected right as he let it go from about the top of the left circle, which sent it careening the opposite direction of where Allen thought it was going. And it is indeed no goal. They have yet to win a game when they've trailed after the first period here at home. They are 0-4-1-2 when trailing after one. Now a chance in front though. Chapani trying to get back to within two and a great save from Allen after Vinny Salici made a beautiful feed from behind the net. At the near wall, Ports drives in for it and gets it. Here's Nick Ports to the left circle. Ports ran into defenseman Kyle Akoin. Akoin's got it back, will cut in front. Nice pass back post, good save. Rowe coming across to stop Eckerly. At the point, Richard holds. Puts it down below the goal line, McLean there. Can't get to it. Sankin has it back to Estrada, now Nevers through neutral. Propelling down the left wall. Never centers. One-timer. Pap. Great save. Allen. Blazing to the high slot. Outlets for Mitchell. A drive and a blocker save made by Allen. 
Puck doesn't get out. Lidke walks the line. Across to Mitchell at the left point. Opens up and fires just wide. Back to the right point. Lidke turns it in front. There's a rebound. They score! It's Mason Nevers! And it's 3-1! Consistency and leadership, two terms used by Peter Menino in the pregame interview when talking about Mason Nevers. He's run down and the puck is flown to center. We are six on five. And Des Moines saying their prayers here in the third. Down 3-1. Strana centers, here's Papp. Alone, great blocker save by Allen at the net front after a great feed by Strana. Coaching staff wasn't too happy about. Clearly Anthony Noreen wasn't happy about. Laferriere gets to a face-off win, but it is all for naught. As yet again, the Buccaneers dig themselves a hole early and fail to climb out. 3-1 the final here tonight from Urbandale.